layers of flavor, years of tradition. Oh, literal fried onion with cheese, with bacon. This is like a classic cowboy Southwest style burger. Good morning from Playa del Carmen here in Mexico. Today I'm very excited because I'm going to McDonald's. Mexico's famous for a lot of things. Tequila, mezcal. I tried a lot of that last night. So now I'm ready for the other thing they're famous for. Random menu items at McDonald's. I've not actually eaten at a McDonald's in Mexico yet. I know they do have unique menu items that you'll only find here and that's why I'm excited. We're gonna check out what this McDonald's here in Mexico has to offer for breakfast. And after that, we're gonna do lunch. Right now we're headed into the McDonald's drive-thru. You can see it right up here. I'm gonna try not to hit these people. Oh, and I'm gonna stop right here. Let's see what we got. Could I have one desayuno especial mexicano? Then a uh, McMuffin a la mexicana. Okay, and then continue with your order? Sure, then McMolletes and a McBrito a la mexicana. Okay, that's it for your order? That's it. Mm. Gracias, all right. Muchas gracias. Hasta luego, chicos. Lindo Great, you too. I don't know what she said. She's very cheerful and nice. Let's go park up and eat some food. Right here. We're gonna eat outside in the parking lot like normal people do. A couple staples, some things I'm used to seeing. These are the hash browns. Oh. Show a good hash brown. I like it. Oh, take a look at this. Salsa de chile. Jalapeno salsa with your breakfast. This is our mic burrito a la mexicana. It is just scrambled egg, cheese, and then it looks like they have some kind of pico de gallo mix in there. Cheesy, drippy, eggy. It's a very nice burrito. Actually, it tastes like the American breakfast burrito. It's just got more thickness to it. I'm gonna put some of that green salsa all over the top. Let's see if this gives it a little bit of a kick. Maybe differentiates it more from the US version. A little salty, sour, spicy. It's more spice than you would expect to find from most McDonald's, I can tell you that. It's a welcome little punch in the pants. Next food. This one right here is McMuffin Huevo con Salchie. I don't know. Oh, look at you, little guy. They've got cheddar cheese, bacon, scrambled eggs, and then on this side of the patty, frijoles. A little bit of a bean paste. All the ingredients actually look really good, beefy, cheesy. The English muffin is quite small. We're in Mexico. Is it a Spanish muffin now? Mmm. Mmm. Same scrambled egg, crispy bacon, nice leathery cheese that's kind of cooled down, and that bean. You're not gonna find a lot of refried bean in the American McDonald's, I like that. This is a hangover cure right here. This could save lives, oh my lord. If you've had too much tequila, like me, eat one or five of these, but nothing in between. Our next food right here, to say you know breakfast. Let's crack it open, whoosh. Oh yes, I love when they do this. This is like the American big breakfast when they deconstruct a burger or a McMuffin. So we have two Spanish muffins here on top, some melted cheese, and this seems more like a local cheese. Maybe it's uh, Monterey. Then we have a sausage. This is gonna be the typical American breakfast sausage. Over here, same scrambled eggs with that pico de gallo in there. And then here, we've got diced tomatoes, onions, jalapenos, and probably some lime or lemon juice in there too. I'm gonna do what I saw them do in the picture, which is they put some of the pico right onto this kind of cheesy biscuit. It looks colorful and festive, it looks like Christmas. Mm. Oh! Mmm! There was a hidden layer of bean under the cheese, I enjoy that. My temptation is always just to put the sandwich back together, so I'm fighting that temptation now. Instead, I'm just gonna eat sausage alone! This is a standard breakfast sausage from McDonald's, and they've got the same one all around the world. It's porky, it's juicy. Honestly, it's freaking delicious. But they have enough salt in one of them to put down an oxen. Why would an oxen be eating breakfast sausage in the morning? Maybe it had too much tequila. Oh. The eggs are eggs, they're good. I like it. The only thing actually spicy is what's inside that green packet. All right, one more breakfast food. Oh, this also says this is uh, a new breakfast. They didn't mark what I got here. What the fuck? <laughs> oh, this is the molletes or whatever. This is not new. This had a different name, but it's still an English muffin with bean and cheese and pico de gallo on the side. We already know what that tastes like. I'm gonna eat this on my own, because I have to. I mean, I'm not contractually obligated. I'm just a big fat picky. Can I have a habanero ranch and a CBO cheddar bacon onion and a barbecue crispy onion and a clubhouse? Okay. Pollo McCrispy. Magnifica. And that's it. 
We're in McDonald's. I feel like whispering. One, two, three, four, five, six different burger sandwiches, and one French fry. Let's try some French fries. They are the same as the USA. Good, crispy, super salty. This is the Magnifica. I don't know if this is like a Spanish version or something we already have in the US. Is that just like a quarter pounder with cheese? But it also has tomato, some ketchup, and mustard, cheese, beef. It looks like a typical McDonald's burger. I'm just not sure which one. It tastes like a Whopper Junior a little bit. They've got mayo and ketchup on there with a big tomato. It's good, but serious Whopper vibes. And I love a Whopper. If I choose between the Whopper and the Big Mac, it's Whopper every time. That is not what I expected to taste in McDonald's. This is our next victim right here, the crispy chicken. Oh, look inside there. We've got pickle. We've got some kind of a spicy sauce, fried chicken breast. It looks good. I don't know if it's different though. Maybe you guys can tell me in the USA, am I just eating the normal American menu? And then I'm thinking it's Mexican because it's in Spanish. That sauce is different for sure. Spicy, but super sour. Mm-hmm. Juicy chicken breast, sour pickle, but that sauce in there, a little too sour for me. People love sour food here. Overall, can it cure a hangover? I say yes, absolutely. They have a whole signature series. This one right here, it's a clubhouse. I have never seen this at a McDonald's. What do we got here? We got two beef patties, lettuce, tomato, some kind of our secret Big Mac sauce. There's caramelized saute onions, there's bacon. This is two burgers in one. It's replete with deliciousness. A lot of beef too. My gosh, when you look at this thing, it can hardly stay together. It's a big winner for me. I'm not sure why it's called a clubhouse. I don't know what it has to do with a club or a house. Sometimes a double patty, it's like, mm -mm. it's too much beef, it's gonna be too fatty and oily. It's gonna be a broken sandwich. It's the home wrecker of burgers, but no. That's nice. Here is our next signature item right here. This one's not in a box. I'm not sure why. Two patties. This time a white cheese. Hello, bacon. Tomatoes, onions. There's some kind of crazy red sauce. It's like salsa roja. I don't even know what it is. It's not labeled. What are you? Editor, see if you can figure it out. Look at the picture. Look at the burger. Do the science. Put it on the screen right now. Habanero ranch. Sauce is a little flat. It's not tangy like the last one. This just has a crap load of beef. I mean, it's like a whole half a cow on two little tiny buns. These buns cannot handle this much beef. Overall, I don't like it as much as the last one because the sauce is very understated. It's just kind of wet and not really flavorful. When you're making a sauce, the wet part is pretty easy. The flavor, the seasoning, that's way more important. Also, unnamed. Let's unwrap it and see if we can figure it out. Oh. I love the wrap job they do here. It makes for just the best reveals. I think cheese on the bottom, a patty, another patty, and then on top, a load of this yellow sauce. Maybe it's a honey mustard, and then there's caramelized onions in there too. Incredibly beefy still. I'm on napkin number 11. If you really like honey mustard, you're really gonna like this burger. One final burger left. I feel like I've saved the best for last year. Double patty, a different bun, no sesame seeds, layers of flavor, years of tradition. Oh, literal fried onion with cheese, with bacon. This is like a classic cowboy Southwest style burger. Oh my gosh, a very, very, very sweet barbecue. Not tangy, nice layers, crispy onions on top. I prefer a little bit more tang with the barbecue sauce. This is really just super thick and sweet. I can't take any more bites of any of these. If you're wondering, wow, Sonny, how do you eat all this food and you feel good about yourself? I don't, I feel bad inside right now and I feel bad outside too. I hate myself. My favorite from all of these was the club, and I was surprised by the Magnifica, a toned down Whopper to me. Something I didn't expect to see at McDonald's today here in Mexico. Boom, guys, so that is the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it. What did we learn today? McDonald's in Mexico has a few new ingredients, mostly the cheese, the beans, the pico de gallo, basically just that. Let me know in the comments down below if you would like to see more McDonald's or fast food reviews, and if you don't, then don't say anything. Also, if you want to look cool like me when you're reviewing food, get a bandana like this from our website. Click the link in the description down below. Go to our website and buy bandanas for yourself and the whole family. It can also double as a mask if you like to mask up. If you're one of those people, wear it like a robber. That's going to protect you. Guys, that's it for this one. Thanks so much for watching. I will see you next time. A peace. All right, let's go find a Burger King or maybe a Subway, an Arby's. I'm not sure. We'll find something. Welcome to the Best Ever Merch Store, where you can check out our brand new designs. Best Ever Bandanas in black, white, and red. The Please Send Nudes Hoodie. Pillow Soft Fabric with a quality custom graphic inlay.
and our street food around the world graphic team. We're now shipping everywhere around the world. Just visit shopbesteverfood.com or click the link in the description below to get your new merch today. A peace.